of the time, it just pisses me off. So, but you know, what are you going to do? You have to, you have to figure it out. Right. So, okay. Now I think, I think I've got my technology crap figured out. We should officially be live on our Facebook page. If you are watching this and wondering, oh my God, what is happening right now? (laughs) Just ignore it. It's like the first 30 seconds of every live I do is crazy. So uh, what's that? Yeah. Everyone's like, what are these girls doing? What are they doing? (laughs) We're just hanging. Uh, If this is your first time here, I am Heather with Savvy Agent, and I'm so excited today to have my girl, Shannon Salmon with me. She is an agent at my local Remax, and I follow her. Well, actually, I follow a lot of real estate agents on Instagram and Facebook. And to be honest, and this might be, you know, tough love for most of y'all, your shit's boring. So (laughs) she is on the other hand. Shannon is so much fun to follow. And so I think she is going to be a fantastic guest because she's going to tell us exactly how to be more fun and generate more business, uh, not only with her entire social media strategy, but specifically using stories, which are really hot right now to, um, you know, kind of connect with, with her people. So Shannon, I'm sure that was a terrible introduction. Why don't you tell us what we need to know about you and then get to the nitty gritty. I sound like I'm hosting HQ. Do you play that? Um, I don't play that, but I think I might try. I'm going to try that. Yeah, it's Um, for Kipro Numero Uno, Shannon Solomon. Quote a friend. (laughs) Um, Thanks, Heather. Thank you so much for having me on today. Um, I as well follow Heather because she's a lot of fun and somebody who I admire as a a realtor in Des Moines. and the savvy agent club that she has does a lot of the things that I do. And so anyway, I love, love, love you. Thanks for having me today. Thank you. Um, You're very welcome. Yeah. Um, you know, the thing that I started doing with social media is just trying to put myself out there. And it's something that, you know, I hear a lot from other people and they're like, I can't do it like you do it. I don't know how you do that. You know, I, I get so nervous. Well, let me just tell y'all, like my very first Facebook Live, I sat out there in front of a house with my, remember the um, selfie sticks? Yeah, the selfie stick was yeah. where was that. And I stared at myself and I was like, uh, I can't hit live. I can't hit it. I did it. I said, um, a thousand times. I got through sure. it. <laughs> it was but awful. You but it was, it was something that you need to do, like just starting, putting yourself out there and, and being true to who you are. So like, you know, Heather, like when you see me outside of social media, outside of Instagram, outside of Facebook, I match up with who I am online, right? Totally. Yeah. Kind of a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to even be a little more fun, you know, when it's not, um, business hours, you know, but anyway, um, you know, social media, I mean, what really drew me to starting doing more on social media, honestly, was the fact that it was free. And I moved to Des Moines seven years ago, and I was doing real estate first in Minnesota in St. Paul, moved here to a town. I'm not from here. I'm not from Des Moines. How am I going to meet people? How am I going to get people to, to know who I am and know what I do? Um you know, you want to get people to know, like, and trust you. How do you do that when you're not from here? Right. Yeah. And so I also didn't have the budget to send out mailings every single month and, um, you know, pay somebody to do a huge, big website for me. So this was one way that I could market myself, network myself, um, you know, to get in front of people, because that's what we want to do. We want to get in front of people. Um, and so that's what I started doing. You know, I mean, Instagram has, what was it like 800 million user users? Like that's a ton of people. Crazy. I know. And so for free, if you can try to tap in and figure out a way to get in front of those people, um, you know, using hashtags, that's something that you're going to need to be doing. We can talk more about that. Um, so anyway, I started it because it was, free and it was fun and it's really kind of taken off this year with me so and so you've gotten over that fear factor feeling of like oh my god people are looking at me (laughs) you do you really get over that pretty 
uh, I don't know if I could say it quickly, but you kind of have to take an attitude of, I'm going to give out some information and I mean, there might be people, you know, you get two people that watch you that get, you know, maybe nobody comments, maybe nobody likes, but I'm telling you, people are watching, people see it. So not, so you can't really get caught up in how many people like that post? How many people like that video? How many people watched? Because the thing that I'm realizing, you know, I, I run a, into a lot of people out in the community and they're like, oh, I love your video. And I'm like, I forgot we're Facebook friends. I forgot we're Instagram friends because they don't comment or whatever, yes. but you're still staying in front of them. And so just put your content out there. Like, just do it. That's what I tell people. Just rip the bandaid off and do it. Okay. So when you say content, yeah. What are you talking about? Oh God. Um, I mean, well, content is oh shoot. <laughs> Somebody was calling me. <laughs> Soon after <laughs> How do I do that on Zoom? This is this Wait. is new to me. This is new to me. This is fun. This is new. We'll just have to decline those. People call me back later. Like <laughs> Send me a message. Send me a message on Instagram. Send me a message on Facebook. Um, but stop calling me, please. Um, <laughs> Content-wise, you know, this is something that I love that you talk about on your savvy agent page is the 80-20 kind of rule about what you're posting. Um, kind of being aware of I don't want to post 70 pictures of my cat. Did I do that when I got a kitten because she was this big? You bet I did. Um, I mean, but then you kind of have to fall back into, you know, what are we here for? We're here for real estate. We're here. That is where I make my money. And so figuring out a way to not in, inundate people with, I'm a realtor, I'm a realtor, I'm a realtor. I sell houses. Um, so I first started developing my brand, which is my selling in stripes. Um, so I think kind of rewinding a little bit and going back to figuring out what message you want to put out there for people. What do you want? How do you want to be known in your real estate community? How do you want to be known among your clients and friends and things like that? So now um, I started following a lot of different agents, just like you do successful agents, you know, across the country, just kind of get outside of your bubble, outside of your Des Moines, outside of your Chicago, outside of wherever. Look somebody up in Australia. How are they doing it in Australia? Yeah. Um, and so the thing that I found was, um, the people that I love to follow had an accent. Oh. And so I'm like, I don't have an accent. I like to I pretend like you should. So like, that's not going to work for me. I don't have an, I've got a Minnesota accent, but um, that doesn't really do it for people. So like um, Saturday versus Saturday. <laughs> I have a boat up north, you know. <laughs> yeah, sure you betcha. Yeah. <laughs> So I didn't have an accent. I'm like, what do I have? And so there's an agent, Dave Lutman in Chicago. And I started following him and his little shtick was, he always wore like Converse shoes. He was super chill, sells a ton of real estate, polo shirt, good looking guy. I'm like, okay, he's just wearing con he, you know, Converse and a polo shirt, but that's what everybody expects from him. That's what everybody likes to see. They know when they see their realtor, when they see their friend, when they see a pair of Converse, what do they think of Dave Lutman in Chicago? Okay. You know? And so my thing became like selling his stripes. And so, because that's what I had in my closet and I wore a lot of stripes. And so I'm like, let's roll with this. Let's start hashtagging this. Let's start whenever I do a post, um, a real estate post, or even one with like my family trying to, you know, wear some stripes, wear some stripes, hashtag selling and stripes. Um, so now when people see me, I, you know, they, they're like, oh, you're the selling, you're a realtor, you're selling a stripes chick in Des Moines. Um, so anyway, so going back to that and then the content that I'm posting, um, I don't have to now do real estate related posts. Like I can just be with my family, but if I'm wearing a striped shirt, it is also real estate related because they like, oh yeah, she also sells houses. The stripes relate to the houses. Okay. Okay. So um, part of that 80-20 rule, um, and for anybody who is not familiar with, with, with that 80-20 rule, so I recommend, and it's not like my rule, I didn't make it up. It's like everybody's rule, which is yeah. 
you know, you can't be all real estate all the time because I'm telling you people that is dull and boring. So please don't do it. But if you post real estate stuff, try and do that 20% of the time. And then that other 80% of the time, you know, have it be, you know, things that what you're doing throughout your day. I mean, you know, gosh, sometimes I'm so obsessed with vegetables right now. I post a lot of vegetable <laughs> pictures. I am that person that will do 80 pictures of my dog. And he's like right there sleeping very nicely right now. So let's cross our fingers. He continues that good behavior. <laughs> so, you know, what are, what are the things that light you up? And that's what you do for that 80% of the time, because people sure they might follow you because you're a real estate agent or you were their agent, or you might become their agent, but they're going to remember you because they get to know you. And then once they get to know you, of course, they either like you or they unfollow you. So if they're still following you, they like you. And the more interaction that you give them the opportunity to have with you, they're going to trust you. So no like, and trust, boom, you got all three. So, um, Shannon, I think you do a really, really good job of that. How much, Thank you. Thank how much you. time are you spending on this though? Because like, I mean, your stories, uh, well, so what, tell us, tell us like your daily strategy. So you woke up today, it's Tuesday. You have this thing going on. Like, um, have you spent five hours on your social media strategy today? Or like, you know, give us, give us an, hopefully not because people don't want to spend five hours. On it. <laughs> no. And you know, the thing that, um, I don't, I do spend time on it, but I, I try not to spend a ton of time on it. So, you know, maybe like an hour a day. Um, okay. And that's just like kind of peppering things too throughout the day. So like this morning, you know, I was out, out at the bus stop. So part of my morning story today was I was out at the bus stop with my daughter, getting her off to middle school, seven o'clock in the morning. I'm not going to post a picture of myself at that time. Nobody needs to see that. But I was like, oh, I was drinking out of my number one mom coffee cup that she gave me. And so just kind of a picture of morning bus stop. I'm a normal person. I wake up in my jammies, hair on the top of my head, you put my kids out on the bus, you know, and then, and then I can start my day. Um, so a lot of my social media revolves around my family, what we've got going on in our day. Um, you know, and then if I'm bored, like, <laughs> I'll like do a little bit more, but the thing that saved me a lot of time, um, is the apps that I use. So I'm not just mm -hmm. taking a picture and posting it on in my Instagram story or my Facebook story. I mean, you and I chatted, uh, word swag, like yeah. how fun is word swag? Have you played around with that one yet? Like, uh, a little bit, you know, here's, here's my problem. I'm very analytical. And so, you know, I have to pay people to put art on the wall. Like I can't do that myself. So, but I can rock a spreadsheet like no other, and I can create a business plan. I can do those very analytical things. The pretty stuff, not so much my strong suit, unless it's like, you know, hair. So, um, so yes, I have played around with word swag and I think I paid like, I think it was $4 and 99 cent for that app. And it's mm -hmm. a really, it's a really easy app. It's got free copyright, free pictures in it where you can, you can go in and add words to a copyright free picture from the internet. Or if you took a picture of vegetables or your dog or your striped shirt, you can add words to that picture from your phone. So yeah. it is cool. But like, when you go in there, are you looking for the quotes that they already have in there? Or do you already know what you want to say when you go into word swag to put words on a picture? I do all of my own. So when I first started doing it, I kind of checked out what they had, but then I realized, um, <laughs> you know, I like to just kind of do my own thing and I'm, I'm very controlling that way. And so like one of my recent posts, I took the, one of the houses I have for sale and my sellers wrote this amazing letter about what they loved about living in the house and everything. And so I just took snippets of that and like, you know, took the picture of the backyard and then had it, you know, used their font and wrote on there and, you know, from the, um, Brown family, you know, that, right. so, um, I do all of my own on there, but it's so much fun because you can like change the colors and then you can, what I usually do is I'll take a picture add some words and word swag. 
Um, is that what you do for your open houses? And like, you know, sometimes I see you promote listings with listing pictures. Yeah. Is that, is that what you're using for those? I use Ripple. That's another app that I really, really like. I think I pay like, I don't know, maybe $5.99 to get their watermark removed or whatever a month mm -hmm. or something. $3.99, $5.99. Um, so it's not bad, but I then upload all my pictures um, that I have for houses and you can play around and do little videos on there. And those are preset. So all you do is add in however many pictures and then pick what format you want Add your text and you're done. So I do a lot of those for open houses um, just to show people, you know, a little something different. Um, my main theme that I like is to keep it simple. I mean, we all have what, like three seconds of attention span when it comes to <laughs> looking at these stories, looking at Instagram or scroll, scroll, scroll. So I don't, I really don't, don't spend a lot of time. Don't spend, don't be making two minute videos people aren't going to watch them. So right. if you can do something short, snappy, quick, to the point, um, you know, and a lot of my verbiage that I use will just be cute, classic, contemporary, you know, to try to draw people in, add a link, boom, I'm done. Okay. Awesome. Um, I love, <laughs> what was that? <laughs> That's a special weather alert we have in Urbandale until 145. <laughs> Okay, good to know. So uh, everybody should stop everything and <laughs> and realize what Shannon just said. Keep it simple. Like you mm -hmm. do not have to go crazy. You do not have to hire an agency to develop a social media strategy for you. Like just keep it simple, keep it real, be yourself and do your thing and your people will follow you. Yeah. Um, like I love the, on your savvy agent page, like your little templates that you have that people can use just sold. I mean- Right. If you don't have the time and if you don't have the creativity to figure out how do I do that? How did she do that? What is she doing? What is she using? Because it can be a lot. I mean, I love that you guys have that. It makes it easy for people. And that's what it should be. Don't be spending all of your time trying to figure it out. You can, but you know, right. but the, the thing that I like to tell people is Google is your friend. When it comes to how did somebody do that? How do I add music to Instagram? You know, and Instagram has made some changes, um, you know, and people want to know like that whole swipe up thing. Yep. Not, I'm not there yet. I don't have like 10,000 followers. <laughs> and you don't need it because at 10,000 followers, are those people really engaged with you? I don't know. No, of course they're not. They're just following you. So the, the swipe <laughs> up is to, sure, you could sell them something. But as a real estate agent, what are you going to do? Swipe up to see my newest listing. Well, they yeah. don't care. They're, you know, they're never going to swipe up on that. So like there's some things that it would be good for, but I don't think any of us should ever worry about the swipe up feature because what is better is, um, well, you could do like the survey is cool. You could yeah. do type a question or type an answer, you know, that's cool. And, and it allows you to engage with people and respond. Um, you could just say, Hey, like blah, blah, blah. And I want to know what you think. So send me a message right now. And then that gets it into your inbox. And now you have the opportunity to have a real conversation, not that swipe up bullshit. Yeah. Oh, boy, I have bad potty mouth today, but if you know, I mean, it's savvy. Nobody <laughs> knows that. I think that's pretty G rated compared to like most of our conversations. <laughs> well, you know, it's live. So <laughs> I know. I got my filter on, like okay. my verbal, my verbal filter, my, my verbal filter. filter is on, you know, this is very, fam very family friendly, uh, <laughs> that we're doing. Speaking of filters, do you, you use filters on, on your pictures? Do you use filters on your stories, on your Facebook, anything? Are you uh, yes. I do. Um, not so much on like my real estate ones and, um, you know, I, the, the Snapchat ones were kind of fun for a while to put ears on and things. And then I, that I kind of went away from that. Like that wasn't really who yeah. I was or, you know, anything. So, um, I'll use some of them, but at the end of the day, like some, you and I talked about like just finding, <laughs> taking video or pictures with like some great natural light. Um, mm -hmm. because I also, you don't want 
to meet somebody in real life and they're like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's like my worst nightmare. Oh, um, okay, so you don't have like rabbit ears <laughs> and like, so trying to present yourself at least in normal, you know, you can throw a filter on there or whatever, or black and white, I think it's kind of cool, but I don't know. I don't use a whole, whole ton of them, but I mean, it's fun that they're there and yeah. And I, you know, I think there's some of those filters that, you know, maybe hide the haggard a little bit. Yeah. Um, Soften. Just right. Like the ones with the sparkles that you can't necessarily tell is a filter unless you know that filter, but like right. no bunny ears, no bunny nose, like, you know, no one's buying yeah. that piece from me. So <laughs> you, <laughs> we do have a couple of questions. Um, oh, Amber Salmon, she's on break from, I know she's in uh, law update class today. Oh so, gosh. Yeah. Shannon, we got lots of people that are, I think you have a fan club. So Amy Robin Kirk says, Hey, what the way. Hey. Hey, Amy. I love me some Amy. Susanna's here. I know uh, Rob had called both of us rock stars. Um, and oh comments are coming and going. So I'm telling you, like, I have this technology black cloud following me. So um, Shannon Howard Bizzorti says, what was the names of the app you mentioned for videos? So um, I think she's talking about Ripple. Ripple. It's like R-I-P-L. So not normal ripple spelling, R I P L. Um, and what else do I use? I've got, well, I'm on my phone here. Um, I think what's it called? Pick art. Hold on. Oh. I wrote it down. Okay. Word swag. We talked about word swag. That's super fun. Um, ripple. That's more, that's going to do a little short videos. I do use iMovie. And later today, I'm, I do these Where Is She Wednesdays. I don't know if anybody's seen them. Yeah. Um, seen. Yeah. So those I use iMovie because it's going to be a little bit longer and it doesn't fit on your, on your story. So those, and it barely fits on Instagram because those are a minute. But um, those are primarily what I use for doing longer videos where I'm interviewing somebody, chatting with somebody. Um, I wonder how you do that. So like, so you just take your phone, like a little tripod to uh, West End Salvage, West End yep. Architecture, and you just prop it up on something and do your interview. Yeah. Well, that's and my favorite, my favorite little um, prop that I have, I'm actually using it right now, so I can't show it to you guys. It's holding my phone and it's got like this arm on it and a suction cup at the end of it. So you just suction that bad boy, you know, <laughs> so you get like this awesome light, do it to a window, you know, it brightens you up, natural light. Um, and then it leaves you hands-free. You can talk. It doesn't move. Um, so okay. this is something I use this thingy all the time. Get it on Amazon. And then you got to have one of these guys. This is a little remote. And so I'm not going to play around with it because I'll probably stop our video, but um, <laughs> you have to do that. <laughs> so when I do some of my like ah, little pictures, um, at home or at a listing or when I'm at an open house and I'm, um, cause I'll do some little videos when I'm at open house, I take my little remote cause then you can like start and stop it. So you're not like nah, trying to push the button and go. Um, so, like, I have a, um, I don't know, like a $20, um, I don't know. It's like a iPhone camera. I don't even know what it's called. Obviously I wasn't prepared to talk about it. So it's like a little box <laughs> of goodies that you use to, it has a selfie stick. It has one of those remote things in it. Yeah. Um, and it has like maybe, you know, like different camera things that you fit on your phone and you can like maybe do a fisheye camera or something. So would a remote like that work or is it an expensive remote? Like what's it should. This has worked on, um, it, cause all it needs to do is run your, uh, run your phone. So, I mean, I think you could just buy the remote separately and oh. it doesn't matter what type of device you put on your phone or put your phone in, you know, a tripod or whatever, as it'll just, it's got an Android and, um, Apple. Wow. Okay. To it or whatever. It. So that came with a tripod, but I don't even use that one really so much, but, um, it's fun. You know, like I, on national dog day, I have a picture of me and my dog 
Oh and yeah. The second picture is me telling you how to take a picture with your dog. So I went in on, gosh, I think I, I, up, I uploaded that picture to Snapchat because I like some of their fonts a little bit better and you can like add and, you know, write words and draw little lines and this is what you do. And then you download it and then you just shoot it back up to um, Instagram. So I do a lot of cross, you know, I'll put, I'll take a picture use certain things on the Facebook story that you have or use a little GIF. GIF? Are they called GIFs? G-I-F? Yeah. You know those little yeah. moving things? Yeah, that's a GIF. It's a GIF? Yeah, I thought it's somebody said they were GIF one no, time. Like, like GIF is peanut butter. GIF is a... It is a GIF. A G-I-F. Yeah, we can just call it a G-I-F. Use the G-I-F. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so... Facebook doesn't have certain things. So then I'll, you know, put it in my Instagram story and then you can shoot it over to Facebook from there. Um, but I like to do different things. So I don't want like my Facebook and my Instagram stories to run parallel because you will find you have different people that interact on, on each. Okay. So Instagram, I mean, the primary users on our Instagram these days are 18 to ages, 18 to 29. Okay. Older populations are going to be the ones that <laughs> I'm 38. So my, my population and older are the ones that are going to be using Facebook. So those are things to think about too in your business. Who am I trying to reach? So the Instagram, I'm going to be reaching more first time home buyers, probably, um, you know, people that don't have an agent yet, um, getting in front of those people in Des Moines, Urbandale, Clive, you know, Waukee, all these areas around me. Um, those are people that I'm looking for. And so I don't know if we can transition into hashtags. Yeah, go right ahead. Because Let's do it. That page, sister. We're going to just hashtag. <laughs> yeah, because I'm like, cool. talking about hashtags, hashtag yeah. using hashtags. Um, do you ever said, Shannon, I saw your hashtag and like, you're my girl. I want, I want to buy a house with you. Um... No, I guess nobody's actually said that. Um, but I just recently, probably within the past year, started using them correctly. Okay. I thought they were kind of funny. I didn't understand them. Um, and so there, I follow Katie Lance, who does a lot of Instagram. Um, sure. You, I mean, you can join her uh, kind of online learning about Instagram, but she does a lot of free videos. Um, and so she talks a lot about hashtags and how, you know, you want to hashtag to get in front of the people in your community. You know what I mean? So I could hashtag HGTV. Well, right. It, I don't really care if somebody in California, I mean, like you said, they're not going to buy a house for me. Right. So it's important that you start hashtagging, um, your community. So, uh, you know, Des Moines. Urbandale, get in front of all of those people because then when people go to those hashtags, then they start seeing you. And now I'm starting to get the likes from those hashtags okay. um, and stuff. So once they start, you know, liking and then following, I'm starting to get right. followers right. Um, from using hashtags appropriately. Well, and you know, that, that makes sense because you would get the follows and the likes first. And so somebody's never going to say, I saw your hashtag and I mean, cause this is a long game. Like you, you don't see one story and like, oh, I have to buy a house from that woman. Right. So they follow you and then they get to know you on Instagram. So you're sort of always performing for your audience and allowing them to get to know you so that ultimately they will perhaps buy a house or sell a house or, you know, send you referrals. So that yeah. makes sense that no one has ever, that it would be very difficult to track it back to a social media strategy because that's where it might start, but then yep. it's like this ongoing thing where they're always seeing you. And so you engage with them and then you might get their email address and you probably send them things through email. And so, you know, it's all of those touches that give you the opportunity to have that business in the future. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. And for me, you know, just trying to stay in front of my little community, my friends, my family, you know, in, I'm in Urbandale. So everybody around me, because that's when this year is when like my referrals have kicked up because yeah. people are seeing me. I'm in front of them. You know, they, 
they can't not. They're like, oh God, there's Shannon again. Oh, she's wearing, <laughs> she's still wearing stripes. And <laughs> by the way, there is, I just saw, um, God, who was, there's a gal that just posted on Instagram today about, she's a fashion blogger gal and she posted about stripes. And I was like, yes, I love your stripes. And I said, but there is a, um, like method your madness. You can't wear those stripes that are so close together because you give people like seizures. That's I mean, we've true. both seen. So you gotta, you know, if you're gonna do stripes, you gotta spread them out, people. You gotta manage it appropriately. <laughs> <laughs> so yep. um, Amber commented and she said, Heather, you picked a good one. Shannon should be a comedian. <laughs> <laughs> So if anybody follows Shannon, like you'll be entertained because she is pretty funny for sure. Oh, so. I think I'm, you know, it's just my sarcasm with life. You know, we've right. all been given a lot in life with experiences, you know, family life, whatever we've all gone through. And, you know, that kind of makes you, I don't know. I think that gives me my like, mm, I don't really care sometimes. Um, I mean, I do care, but no, um, I get it. like, I'm not afraid to kind of step outside the box or, um, do something a little bit different, uh, because it is fun when people are like, I would never do that, but right. you could like, I, and that's what I do like when I see people. Um, I mean, cause not everything that I, most of the things that I do are knockoffs. Okay. So I worked at target corporation, a little back, a little backstory in Minneapolis in product development. And, um, I don't know if anybody understands this, but Target basically knocks off like high end sure. things and brings it to an affordable price to consumers. Sure. So, you know, we would go comp shopping and that's basically what, you know, I try to have that mentality too. Um, what, do you call it? Well, what are other people doing, you know, and then knock it off, make it your own and roll with it. And so like, I've seen people even in town, other agents, like, doing things that I've done. And I'm like, Oh yeah. And I like the way they do it. They do it a little different, but it's who they are. And sure. so, um, I love that. Like, I love when people, you know, do things that I've done or use the apps that I use or, I mean, cause we're all going to do it a little bit different. We've all got different followers and different clientele. And, um, and then when 500 of us show up selling in stripes, you're going to be like, bitches, I wear solids. <laughs> watch yourself. <laughs> I can't wear, I, I wear flowers every once in a while. I do it on purpose and I'll post a picture and I'll be wearing like florals and it's like, you know, like, right. That would, that would make people stop. Like, who's this? What's happening right now? I don't, they're like, that's not stripes. What's happening. Are you still selling real estate? <laughs> Hilarious. I'm like, they're, they're, floral print is a cousin of the stripe. I mean, it's all a pattern, you know? So <laughs> sometimes, and a lot of times when I go, you know, out at night, I, I won't wear stripes because I'm undercover. I'm under, yeah. you're, I want to fly you're, under the radar, you know? I like it. So do people ever say to you, Shannon, do you work? Like, it seems like you're always on social media because sometimes when I, like, there are moments where I think, okay, I should not. I mean, we work all the time. And so if yeah. I take a walk at 10 in the morning, like that's work time for most people. But if I take a picture of, you know, my favorite subject, my dog, and yeah. I post it, like there are moments where I think, okay, I shouldn't post this right now because people are going to think that I don't work. And that's not the message that I want to send. Yeah. Well, I, I, I don't work. I just, no, <laughs> <laughs> it just magically falls into my bank account. Sometimes we eat ramen for a while, okay? But my social media is on point. Like, <laughs> no. Oh, no. Um, no, and that's something, because I was told once by somebody, they're like, you shouldn't post between 8 and 5. Like, you should not be posting between 8 and 5, because that's when you need to be, you know, making your calls and sending your handwritten notes and, you know, working your business. Well, for me, I think you should be, because that's when all of my clients are on social media. Um, you know, and there's a lot of different, the, all the whole like logarithms. So yeah. if you're not posting at all during the day because we're working, then you're missing out on 
your your posts aren't going to start showing up. Um, right. So it's oh oh Susanna, ha, ha, she just, Susanna, Susanna did a little uh, Instagram post and tagged me in it. So I don't know what it says, but I got an alert. <laughs> um, so no, I do I. I think about that at times. And so those are times to pepper in a real estate post. I think yes. that's great, you know, but you have to post, you have to. And the other thing, like there's a difference between your, your posts and your stories, I feel like. Um, so like my posts, I'll put out um, an open house. Okay, doing this open house. And then, oh, stop it. I, I'm trying to work. I'm gonna turn those notifications off. I don't know, <laughs> and I don't know. We're just going to have to roll with it. Um, but then your stories, I always say, are like a supplement to that post. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you don't have to just keep posting on the wall, on the wall, on the wall. Add it to your stories, you know, and then that's when it kind of becomes like this cohesive story, you know, and try to have it flow. And there are times where I've gone back and I was like, oh, oops, delete. Um, so you can take things out of rotation or if it doesn't apply because they stay for like 24 hours. So there's certain times on Saturday, I don't want my Friday morning stuff. I don't want people to have to click through, you know, you get that like bar at the top. Yeah. I try to keep mine to about five, five oh. or under. Okay. Because otherwise you just end up tap, tap, tap through the story and people aren't watching it. So if you can just do maybe a couple, that's a supplement to your post. Um, okay. I think that's something that has been super cool, but just, I also always go back to how do I watch other people's stories? Kind of like when you're buying a house, you know, your people are selling a house and you're like, put your buyer hat on and right. like walk into your house. So you also have to do that with your social media, put on your hat as somebody who doesn't know you. Are they going to sit and like, they want to listen to me? Like, oh, I had a bagel this morning, <laughs> cream cheese on it. And right. Take dog to the vet later and I'm going to list a house. I mean, no, you know, yeah. so keep it short, keep it quick, keep it, um, on topic, which is something me in person has a hard time staying on topic. So, well, so how long could it take you to get to where you are today? Like how long did it take to like click? And I mean, obviously it took you your entire life to get to where you are today, but 38 years. <laughs> <laughs> so, but like, if you are, if you're somebody who's watching this video and maybe you, maybe you've got Facebook down, you figured out how to watch live videos, boom, you're graduating to the next level and you think, okay, I could try this Instagram thing. Shannon, the lady in stripes, she's got me motivated to do this. Yeah. So like, how long does it take to find your groove and maybe feel like you're getting some traction on Instagram? Oh, um, I would say, gosh, because honestly, like right now, I'd say probably about like two years. Um, so I okay. started the whole like selling in stripes, um, cause I sold real estate in Minnesota, moved here, took some time off, picked it back up. Um, I mean, so I've been selling in Des Moines just for about five years and then, um, started, I, I don't know. I'd probably say about two years, honestly, to like okay. start building up and using it appropriately and doing the research and listening to the webinars um, on how to do it. And it's constantly changing. And so trying to stay on top of what's latest and greatest with Instagram and, um, you know, and I don't even do those uh, Instagram TV yet. Like watch right. out. Like I got to figure that out. Not ready to to roll right. that out. And I don't know how I feel about that yet, but that's okay. And that's the other thing, like you don't have to do it all. Oh, thank you figure out that. what works. And you did a, um, a great piece on that with your savvy agent club on, do you have to do it all? You know, no. I, mean, I don't know. What are your thoughts on that? Like, do you feel like you should be doing everything or no? Well, okay. So there are moments where I think, oh my God, I've got to start doing Snapchat, but let's face it. I'm not going to do Snapchat. Like that is one thing way too much for me to do. So actually I think you should just pick one thing, start. pick one thing, uh, which is turning off Shannon's notifications. <laughs> 
So pick one thing and then get good at it. Like don't do Facebook for a week and be like, okay, I'm ready for another thing. Like, no, that's, that's not actually how it works. Building, building that engaged audience, people who, because, and this works on Facebook, Instagram, it might work like this on Snapchat. I really don't know how Snapchat works, but you know, when people engage with content that you put out there, content being anything that you put out there. So if they like it, they love it. They comment on it. They send you a direct message. They swipe up. They, they take any of those actions that you ask them to, then they're engaged. And so then your content starts showing up more in the feeds on whatever platform you're on. And so at that point, uh, you get more views and, you know, you start growing the audience. So at that point, once like you're through that growth spurt and you feel like, okay, well, I have a good system for Facebook. We'll just start there. Cause that's what yep. apparently I'm in the age bracket for Facebook. Thanks a lot, Shannon. You're welcome. <laughs> so if you start 30 to 49, Heather, 30 to 49, is that, uh, so I got 80% a of the demographic. what's after that? Like nursing home? Yeah. I have a note here. It says best for older folks. <laughs> okay. I'm going to delete all of my Facebook accounts and I'm officially going to Snapchat so that I can be a young person. <laughs> uh, let's just talk <laughs> that's about not true. That's, none of that is true. Oh, Uh-oh. I think Janet's taking a call. No, it said low power mode. What the heck? Well, that's we, <laughs> um, okay. So Shannon is back with us and yeah. So so manage one platform and then start another. So if you're still getting your feet wet and finding your groove on whether it's Facebook or Instagram or Snapchat, whatever, it's your first platform and you, you don't really feel like you own it yet, then don't bother starting another one. Like finish what you're finish, what you've started already, and then go on to another platform. So like yep. two platforms is probably good enough. I mean, like you do not have to do Snapchat. I give you permission to not do it. I mean, right. some people do it well and that's okay. They can, and I'll do what I do well here and maybe on Instagram. Yeah. And that, why? This is, this is... <laughs> I called somebody out on Instagram today for doing something inappropriate and now they're having was, conversations with me. Was that how, um, cause Susanna commented, uh, thank you, Susanna. She says so much class with both of you feel so proud to be in an industry with ladies like you too. Also just today, Miss Shannon, not only does her thing, but isn't afraid to stand up for another woman or for other women. So like, yep. you, did you get in a fight on Instagram? <laughs> you know, it wasn't a fight, but it, um, and it happened like right before we were going to start. And I'm like, oh what are we doing here? Um, you know, because a lot of what I like to put out and what I like to receive positivity and supporting other people and friends and other realtors and women and whatever, but keep it positive, keep it light, keep it fun, keep it. And there was one that it was not, it was somebody who I follow and it was, he put something out there about somebody's name and, um, made a nasty little comment about it. And I just said, not okay. I know this girl. I love this girl. Sent him then a direct message saying, I got, it's just not okay. Like, that's not cool. I'd love for you to take that down. I mean, so, you know, keep it to yourself. Like if you, if you think, I don't know. I mean, yeah. If you, there's going to do nasty things. People like Shannon Salmon are going to shut it down. (laughs) So good for you. But I mean, and I mean, that's the world we live in. And, and that is also something, you know, I mean, that I try to teach my kids too about social media is you got to know who's in your pictures. I mean, my daughter, she'll use my phone and she'll, speaking of Snapchat, like my daughter just took over my Snapchat, so I can't even, <laughs> but she, you know, will take pictures. I'm like, I am standing in my bathrobe in the other room. You can't send that. Like you have to be aware of what you're posting, you know, who your audience is. Um, is it kind? Is it respectful? Is it, uh, you know, I don't know. I just don't believe in putting other people down to make yourself better or make, I don't know why you do it like to make you feel better about yourself or, but well, good for you. You go girl. Yeah. But especially when a a female agent um, in Des Moines, 
I'm not okay with that. I am not okay with that. Well, and you probably wouldn't be okay with it, even if it were a male agent. Like, it's probably not really a female thing. It, it's probably a human thing. Yeah. So, you know, I mean, I think we can all stand There's behind that. You know, we've all been that kid in class that gets made fun of. So, like, it's nice to have people stand up for us. So, good yeah. for you. Thanks. So, what type of what type of story or post, or maybe it's a different answer for each, gets the best engagement from people? Um, you know, honestly, I feel like it goes like my family really, so, you know, on Facebook, like gets the most that, I mean, if you're looking for likes and you're looking for, um, you know, comments or something, just like when I have funny pictures of like me and my kids, that's something, but it's, it's who I am. So I think people are like, that's Shannon, you right. know, not the like posed one, like with the <laughs> professional photographer one, but the real ones, like the real <laughs> posts, the real pictures um and then the the live videos or the videos that i post um those are the ones that seem to get like the most interaction with people um okay. so and so with stories then that's hard to um you know it's hard to track engagement on stories unless yeah. you set it up to get a direct message do you do that a lot or do you like i know that like sometimes I respond with, you know, a little clappy emoji or a heart, yeah. um, to some stories. So do you find, do you find that that's still sort of catching on with stories or like, does it, does personal ring truer for engagement on stories as well? No, I think, I mean, the thing that you have to do is not only just like get all, you know, put your stuff out there to get that, but you have to give it too. Because then oh, you're oh. building that. Yeah. So right, you have to give it order and receive. And that is something to keep in mind with, you know, with Facebook stories and Instagram stories is, and I think Remax, we had a um, training on this. I think maybe with uh, Rebecca, with Becca. Um, I only go to trainings if there's free CEUs and I just started that last week, so. And lunch, <laughs> I go when there's lunch, when there's food. If you feed me, I will come. Except um, breakfast, that's too early. <laughs> yeah, and so, you know, trying to keep, I try to engage with other people and that's honestly what probably takes up the most time in my day with social media is trying to, you know, throw little comments and not be like a, a little bot, but like just to throw a couple words at them, you know, comment a little bit here or there. Um, versus automatic. Yes. Okay. So you can throw those hearts and stuff, but it's also good to engage. And it's hard because I am somebody who actually cares. Like I care about your aversion to blueberries. You know, I find it weird, but I care that you are that you hate blueberries so much. Um, I hate them. They're just so much better with more sugar. <laughs> Story of my life and all of the problems I have. <laughs> you know, and so that's the stuff that that draws me to other people. And so I try to think about that too in my own post. Like, what am I drawn to? Um, people, you know, people that I like, but also like I like to have a quick conversation about it. Um, you know, I want to actually show up at your house and try what you made. Like, <laughs> well, I think it needs to be thrown out today. It was probably, it, it might be bad now. Yeah. Yeah. No, I don't want to know. You're like, well, come get it. I don't like it. Cause I swear to God, I made a health food dessert, like ugh, gross, but I'm sure you would love it. You seem like the healthy food type is spaghetti squash instead of spaghetti. So I'll send you the recipe. <laughs> and then I made fajitas, fajitas last night. Ooh, peppers. <laughs> Yeah, I'm, I'm a sucker for Mexican myself. So, okay, <laughs> we are pretty close to um, being ready to wrap this up. Let okay. me look here on Facebook and see if we've got any, um, any questions that I've missed. You know, I've posted it in a couple of places. So, um, yes, it's entirely possible. I will have missed your questions, in which case I apologize. And we will certainly answer them afterward. Um, we've got some comments. Uh, Rosara says she loves this. Thank you. 
And yeah. uh, we got a heart from Chrissy Strom and she agreed that consistency is key. And so, um, so that actually makes me think of a good question. Do you have like, when you first started Instagram, cause this is probably old hat to you now, but when you first started a new social media platform, like, did you have to set a reminder to go check it or, cause you know, when you're brand new on something, you don't really have a whole lot going on. And so then you have to remember, oh, I have to go post or whatever. So yeah. you have a good system for people to get started with. Um, I would, it was all really trial and error for me. I felt, um, you know, I get most of my engagement, honestly, when I post in the evening, think about when people are getting off work. Um, I would. Okay. Um, and then I don't know, I never really set any alarms or, or notifications. I would just kind of go on and do a little bit here or there. You know, we always have our phone with us when you're in the car. Um, not, not using it in the car, but like when you're at parked at the grocery store, you know, we're going through um, the car wash. I feel like I get a lot of work done at the car wash. <laughs> I know. Yes. Yes. Um, so yeah, just a couple of different times during the day, trial and error, see what, what people are, are reacting to and, and, um, keep going, just keep doing it. Keep posting, stay away from political, stay away from yeah. religious maybe, um, unless that's who you are, that's who your clients are. That's who your circle is. Um, I think your message is stay away from the asshole behavior. So if you hate other people, whether it is politics or religion or whatever, eh, maybe you should hide that from social media. Yes, definitely do that. Or like set up an account with like a alias name and (laughs) go do it over there. Like just that's a good idea. Best yeah. Don't follow me if you're like going to make fun of other people. Cause I don't want that. Right. But if you're, <laughs> but if you're not going to follow me or if you're not going to make fun of people then I welcome you to follow me on Instagram and Facebook and all where, of them. Where can people follow you? Like, I'm sure that they're all in love with you at this point and dying to get more of you. And if they haven't already looked you up, where can they find you? Yeah. Instagram. I'm Shannon underscore L underscore realtor. So Shannon, so it kind of looks like Shannon, a line of realtor, Shannon, Shannon underscore L underscore realtor. Um, okay. That's my Instagram account. And then Facebook, I'm Shannon Solomon realtor. Um, that's my business page. So I do a lot on there and I'm in the post too, so that people can click on it and okay. visit to there. Although if you, I, I do not invite realtors to follow Facebook pages. So maybe they should follow you on Instagram, not your Facebook page. So they don't mess up your algorithm. Yeah. Do that. Okay. Follow me on my Instagram. Um, okay. cause I'm currently having weird feelings about my personal Facebook page and people that are friend requesting me that I don't know. I'm Instagram. I'm fine with it. <laughs> Okay. So it's Instagram.com Shannon underscore L underscore realtor. Yep. What's your Heather? What's yours? If people aren't already following you. Uh, well, Shannon's fun FYI, but you can get me. Oh, hi, Marinella. You can get me at Heather underscore savvy underscore. You guessed it. Agent Heather savvy agent. (laughs) So Shannon, your battery is probably almost dead. And yep. um, uh, before, before it dies, I want to thank you so much for joining us today. Um, I'm, I'm so happy that we got this Zoom business figured out. And uh, I, think, I think you're incredible. And this is not going to be the last time that Shannon Selman is a guest appearance on Savvy Agent. I am sure of it. So yeah, beginning of lots more to come. So thank you so much. and. Everybody watching, I really appreciate you being here and I hope y'all have a profitable day. Go sell a house or something. Yes. Thanks, Heather. Thanks everybody for watching. Okay. Bye. Bye.